Uh, what I've done in the past is I have uh, tracked student data by creating a spreadsheet using the uh, chapter test scores. And what I would do is I would actually create the spreadsheet and I would be able to look for trends or any type of um, patterns that were going on within a particular chapter so that I would know if I needed to go back in and reteach the entire class or target uh, some students individually and I actually had the spreadsheet that I worked on and, and added to for the entire school year. And so this year what I decided to do was instead of tracking the, the data by chapter, I started tracking by benchmark or by standard. And um, so instead of just saying chapter six, I looked at the standards that are within that chapter and I was able to better hone in on was it square roots that they were successful with? Was it the Pythagorean theorem? And I was able to better identify how that worked out with the students and their progress. I've noticed with tracking student progress is that I'm better able to articulate to the students as well as articulating to parents what the student strengths and areas um, that need improvement are. So instead of just focusing on chapter five or chapter six, I'm a better able to identify within a particular chapter what skills and benchmarks or what standards they needed to improve on or what they were successful with. As a matter of fact, I was able to communicate with a parent over the weekend what I had observed in the last unit and identify what area their child was most successful with and what they can use a little bit more. So I decided that besides just me being involved in tracking the data, I wanted the students involved. And so for each unit, my PLC group and I, we work on creating a scale. And at the beginning of every single unit, we have the students rate where they are at the beginning before we've taught them anything. And so and we assure them that it's okay if they start out at the bottom level, but the goal is that they see growth and that they're moving their way up with a level three as the target, but of course we would love it if they went beyond that um, measure. So we have them rate themselves before, and then within the unit, we also have them rate at, at specific times. We have them identify, okay, well now that we've done this lesson, are you now at a two, are you at a three? We have them rate themselves. And then after, they um, take a quiz, they have this chapter overview that's in their learning journal, and they actually have to record where did they start, where did they end with that particular standard. They record their score, but then they also have to look at what do they need to improve, what have they been successful with, what strategies are helping them to be successful, and they do that with e within each um, unit within a chapter. And then what we do at culminating is they have an overview sheet where they actually are going to be tracking their progress all year long and they have to make a prediction as to where they think they are before the test and then after the test they actually record their data and they have to rate it on the graph so that they can see whether they're continually meeting standards if they're continually below standard or if they're somewhere in between. In Ms. Pickett's class we use scales like at the beginning of um, each lesson that we do, we get a scale like this one, and they're ranked 0, 0, 0.0, 1, 1.1, 1, 1, or 1.0, 1.5, and so on. And at the beginning of the lesson, she doesn't really expect us to like know everything because it's, because it's new material. So she doesn't really care if we start at one. 
And as we go through the material, um, we track our progress by going up, and she wants us to go up each level. And so by the end of the chapter, she wants us to be at, at at least a 3.0 or beyond. So it would be like what I need to improve on and what I'm already like good at, like I know a little bit about. And then like if I need to improve on something, I just like go back to my notebook and I study it. Ms. Pickett scales help me because it helps me track my progress and it kind of like, whenever I do well and I record it, it and I look back on it, it kind of helps me like have like a sense of pride, like I know I'm doing well in the class, so that's like a really co good confidence booster.